It's going to be a warm one today. If you are down at the beach, it's going to be a wonderful day to dip into the water at least a little bit. I know it's still a little bit cool in the water itself since our temperatures there, the ocean water temperature is still in the 60s, but it's going to be 80s or so on the uh, on the land. So if you're on the beach on the sand today, it is again going to be a good day. Maybe just kind of dip in and uh, cool off a little bit down at Rehoboth. There's already a couple people down there on the beach. I don't blame them. It's already hot. It's been warm all morning long and it's only going to continue to get even more hot and humid as we go through the day. High pressure settled down to our south, so we're clear with our skies. But again, it is going to be a little bit hazy out there. So even though we're not going to see a ton of cloud cover, do be prepared for a little bit of haze. And then we have some southwesterly winds that have taken over as we get this clockwise flow around our area of high pressure filtering in that warm and humid air from the southeast. And that's what's feeding into our temperatures that are already into the 70s. Check this out. It's already 72 degrees here in Center City. It's 74 in Trenton, 75 already in Millville. Down on the beach in Wildwood, we're at 74 degrees as well. 76 in Dover and the cool spot just shy of 70 degrees in Mount Pocono coming in at 69. Here are the dew points. They've been kind of hovering in this kind of low to mid 60 range for many of us through most of the morning. Now Dover has been very high all morning long and we actually should see our dew point temperatures maybe fall a degree or two as we head into the afternoon. That's usually what happens. They're usually highest in the morning and then get a little bit on the lower side as we head through the day. Unfortunately, while they are going to get a little bit lower, it's still going to be into the high range. It's still going to be muggy, sticky, very humid out there and it's only going to get worse as we go through the next couple of afternoons. We are looking to challenge records today and tomorrow, possibly breaking a record high on Tuesday. We're going with a forecast high today of 94. Old record is 95 set in 1986. We're going to hopefully or not hopefully, but we could potentially tie our record tomorrow. 95 for Monday and then 96 on Tuesday afternoon for our afternoon high there, breaking the old record of 95 set in 1956. So a record that's been around for quite some time. And again, especially Monday and Tuesday are dew points high 60s possibly from time to time and that means that our heat index values to start out the work week are going to be potentially into the high 90s maybe even close to the triple digits from time to time i don't think we see heat index values of the triple digits but again we could be closing in on it pretty closely i've been talking about heat safety all day and it's because we need to just get a little bit of a refresher from now from time to time you got to be in the shaded areas outside if you're outside limited time you want to drink plenty of water if you're out there as well if you do have to be outside for any periods of time, loose, light clothing, reflect that light and you want that loose clothing so it doesn't kind of hold that heat in. No strenuous activity today. I know people like to get their exercise in, keep it to a minimum, and then you always want to stay inside as much as you can with that air conditioning for this afternoon. We go to 95 tomorrow, as I said, after a high of 94 today, 96 on Tuesday, maybe a late day shower, a thunderstorm develops for us there Tuesday as well. We'll go slightly cooler on Wednesday, a high of 86 degrees, another chance for a shower, and then 70s Jan for us. Thursday and Friday, so we're trying to cool things down by the end of the week. All right.